Mr. Speaker, one thing I hear regularly from constituents and from people across the province is that they care about the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. Last month, a CBC article mentioned that Circular Materials has presented their plan under the Packaging and Paper Products Extended <coughs> Producer Responsibility Program. A presentation to Fredericton City Council stated that the plan was approved on May 1st and will begin to be implemented by November. One of the concerns raised by councillors is that there is no clear timeline for when recycling programs will be offered to people living in apartments, which I know is a concern for many New Brunswickers, including tenants and students in my riding. Other than what was reported in the CBC article, New Brunswickers still do not know anything about Circular Materials Plan. Will the Minister of Environment release the plan so that all New Brunswickers know what will be happening with the recycling and packaging of packaging and paper products in November? Minister of Environment and Climate Change. Yes, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for the question across the way. Once again, <clears throat> there's lots going on with the waste reduction, and uh, <coughs> timelines I can't give you off the top of my head today, but we'll certainly take it under advisement to get back uh, to you, Member. The Department is uh, excited to announce <clears throat> it has released the uh, Solid Strategic Plan Action Plan last month. Uh, it should be posted online. I'll double check here when we finish today to ensure it is and get that link to you. The plan's vision is to reduce uh, the amount of solid waste. Uh, going to the landfills in New Brunswick, going back to your container pickup in apartments. I know in Hampton area, for example, <coughs> condos have a smaller pickup container that they can keep inside, not outside, and uh, with a bi-weekly pickup of garbage one, compost the other. And I do wish that most, uh, more places would compost across the province. Our children and families are all used to it because we've been doing it for a long time. The long story short is to uh, use the landfills, get more there and make it right, make it better. Thank you. The member for member for so, Mr. Speaker, we already know the timeline. Uh, we actually just don't know what the plan is. So we need transparency. We need to see what circular motions, uh, circular materials plan is. Um, I've also heard the plan is to include beverage containers in the new extended producer responsibility program. <laughs> As the Minister of Environment knows, the Environmental Trust Fund is funded through the Beverage Containers Program. In this year's budget, the revenue for the Environmental Trust Fund from the Beverage Containers Program is projected to be $350,000 compared to $9.5 million in previous years. This leads me to believe that what I've heard is true, but we don't know because we haven't heard from this government or the Minister of Environment about what the plans are. Can the Minister of Environment confirm that the Beverage Containers Program will be ending? And if so, where will funding for the Environmental Trust Fund come from in the future? The Minister of Environment and Climate Change. Once again, Mr. Speaker, the uh, <clears throat> program will not be stopping. Money will continue. We do see the importance, and the money will come along the way. Maybe not directly through the Environmental mm -hmm. Trust Fund like it has been doing, but we certainly want to take part. Some of the goals you're asking about, the goal is that by 2030, your budget will achieve an annual reduction of 40,000 tonnes in solid waste being disposed at the regular regional landfills, while creating a foundation that helps achieve further reductions in the future. The focus on the circular economy you mentioned and the extended producer responsibility program is certainly important. The department has added uh, programs uh, for paint, oil, glycol, as you mentioned, electronics, packaging and paper products, and pharmaceutical products and medical sharps as well. The department will continue to explore options and add new designated materials using this weight diversion approach. I know in our local area as well, they do collect the electronic items, which is great to get them off the street. The recycling, I think, is getting bigger and better for people returning their uh, containers to the site. Thank you.